Well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Dragon Fable. All right, now that it's all spooky Halloween time, so we're gonna go do. And this was about where we were anyway, I think. Because we got the wind orb, we got the light orb. The darkness orb would have been next. But we're gonna go do something else real quick. Because there's like an area that works as a precursor to the darkness orb almost. Uh, yeah. Amity Vale. Nested inside Doomwood Forest is not exactly a hot vacation spot, but hey, they have no shortage of vampires, ghouls, and zombies. Take me there. Alright, so, uh, I don't quite remember how relevant the quests they make you do actually are, but I don't have any, like... I'm pretty sure they're not completely pointless, so we're gonna go ahead and do them. Rest at ease, all of your troubles will be addressed during the town hall meeting. Wednesday, okay. Alright, let's begin. I hereby call this town hall meeting to order. Who would like to go first? I'll go first, Mayor. This week alone, we lost Freddy, Jason, Michael, and they just got Chucky. Oh, I love this game. Poor Chucky. He was such a doll. <laughs> the worst part is no one is doing anything about it. No one except that crazy paladin in the graveyard. Oh. Oh my god, that paladin is still fighting undead in there. Yep, I just passed the graveyard on the way, and he was still there. I heard he was cursed and will die if he does not free enough undead each day. No way, I heard he just does it for fun. Did you hear those puns he's making when he's fighting? Oh, oh, I have to meet this guy. Alright, alright, settle down. The real reason for this meeting is that a bunch of fen no, a bunch of adventurers from Falcon Reach have come to the town. Eh? Yes, adventurers who are attacked by monsters from this area have come to find the source. Adventurers like the one behind me that probably does not think we noticed him standing there this whole meeting. Um, yes, welcome. Welcome, stranger. What's your name? Mayor, we had to deal with the necromancers. We keep our nose out of the business and obey curfew. Out of their business. Oh, wow. Wrong there, game. <laughs> Good old 06 typos. I actually don't know when this part of the game came out, I just know it's older. These adventurers and that paladin are going to get us in a heap of trouble. That is what I thought at first, until they defeated the undead army at Falcon Reach. Are you serious? Yes, I think... I think they can even defeat the necromancers. If you are wrong, we might be... We might as well start sizing our caskets, Mayor. Hey, stranger, do you really think you can beat a necromancer? Oh, just point me at him. We leave our fate in your capable hands. We know you will not let us down. Okay, that's neat. Uh, so, I'm pretty... Yeah, we've seen Zorbak before. I did the first Mugloween quest, which I might do the other ones. It depends on when I jump to do in another game. Uh, you have anything interesting? Bleeder. Alright, my, uh, <clears throat> my other weapon's better anyway. Weapon quest. Make weapons. Moon striker. Oh. Ah, uh, nah. We'll be alright. Hard pass on that one. Let's see what's through. Oh, there's Artix. Uh, I just have to reacquaint myself with the town real quick. Uh, Doomwood Dock. No one's home. Must be at the town meeting. Door is locked. Okay, I don't want to go fishing. I 
think that counts as whatever. Quest haunted castle. Okay. That was that was I was expecting some kind of precursor. Um let's go through here first. Yeah, alright. So we apparently just find Ardix Erdix, however you Erdix is how I used to say it, but then I heard other people pronounce it, and apparently it was... Apparently I was wrong. Wow, I'm so glad you're in Doomwood. It's an honor to fight beside you. Thanks. So what exactly are you up to here? <laughs> Exercising the undead to free their souls? It's also great exercise. <laughs> Groan. You need a hand? <laughs> yes. I love this. <laughs> Ardix's official list of things that should not be said around undead. That is just jaw-dropping. Something evil is afoot. Keep a stiff upper, stiff upper lip. Use a little elbow grease. That's how you get ahead. This guy is a spineless coward. Have a few more add to the, to add to the list. Coughs, forums, coughs. That's funny. So do you always hang around creepy graveyards battling the undead? No, not all the time. Sometimes I do underground crypts, lich lairs, mummy tombs, and the occasional shopping mall. He really likes fighting the undead. Wait, the mall? Indeed. The undead love malls. Someone put us, puts up a sale and they swarm like bees. <laughs> Zombies. <laughs> oh, I love this. It was about... Discount and bargains. Say, if you're battling against creatures of darkness, it would be an honor to come with you. Sure, as long as you can keep up. I like the way you think. This is going to be fun. Lead the way, friend. Wow, not a single typo in that entire dialogue. Yeah, so we might as well recruit him. Uh, invite friend A. Take him along with O. Oh, right. <laughs> Level three. I forgot that's how it used to work. Wait, why is he like that? Valencia scales to me now. That's weird. All right, well. Thursday here has a... Uh, we could talk to her real quick. Hi, good to see you. I'm Thursday. I've lived in Amity Vale my entire life. I grew up in the old haunted house on the path. Ardix has told me that there are some towns where it is only night half of the time, and only some of the houses are haunted. I think he's just joking. Anyway, the moon is always full, and the werewolf howls are so pretty. Why would I ever leave here? That's a fair way to think about it, the path. Um. Alright, what do you got? Haunted house. I grew up on a haunted house on the hill over the path, but I've been forced to leave. The spirits and monsters have completely taken over my home. I was forced to leave in such a rush that I left all my family's possessions, but I really miss my pendant. It is with some other family heirlooms in the chest in the basement closet where we had to double lock the door. The most dangerous spirit in the house lives in the basement closet. We keep the people out for their own safety. The two keys to that door are the monster in the greenhouse and the monster under the bed. Alright. Go explore her house. Alright, so the nice thing about Ardix is, especially for his, uh, he has the regular hitting power of a fly. Like, watch. I'll just daze this guy. Let's see. Not exactly spectacular as far as regular attacks go. But the holy attack does a pretty nice combo to dark type or undead like enemies so it's not too shabby
see, like, he'll hit 101. Just not too bad, especially since he's level 3 and doesn't scale, which is just bizarre to me. Why is he the only one that's like that? Oh, oh, letting him get hit could be a problem. It used to never be an issue in the older versions of the game because they would always just attack you. It, I like came back after not playing for several years and I was pleasantly surprised when occasionally they'd attack my uh, companion. You take your nap, all I want is your basement key. Do you know what happens to people? Who wake sleeping monsters? Uh, they walk out of the room with a basement key and the monster goes peacefully back to sleep. Don't make me come out there. Don't make me come under there. I don't know why you would want to go into the basement closet. He is in there, but if you want it so bad, tough guy, come and get it. You live under a bed. How big can you possibly be? Oh, that's bigger than you would think. Beast in your, under your bed, in your closet, in your head. Um, get him. That was simple. Oh man, bo well, semi-boss fights that are easy. That's a welcome change of pace. The last couple of major updates in the uh, current quest were rather difficult as far as like bosses and such. Took me several tries. Ooh, hidden potions. That's great. No, oh, go back. I want the hidden potions. Yeah. Alright, so unless one of these is just counting as the exit, I think I have to go. Alright. Alright, so hidden potions means I'll feel less bad about spending all of my MP. Try and do a stun things. Stun you, Red Spectre. Ah, I give this guy the holy. Although it's a little unnecessary to stun him and then do that, I admit. Since he doesn't even get to the chance to attack with Annex. Sorry, hits him. Oh man, all yawny today. Oh lord. Oh, greenhouse, there we go. Ah, more plant food. Good, come closer. I can't eat you from there. Tempting, but no thanks. All I want is the basement key. The key? I have a secret about the key. I want you I want to whisper it to you. Come closer. For a plant, you're really creepy, you know that? Yeah, I get that a lot, but then again, I eat everyone who says it. You've also got a weird thing about eating people. There's just no way that I'm. you're going to give me the key, is there? Get in my belly. <laughs> what? Okay, that's funny. Okay, here we go. Oh man, here we go again. Oh, he's bigger than I thought he would be, too. Audrey 2? I imagine there has to be some kind of joke in that name, but I don't know what it would be. So now I've got both keys. I 
I bet this magic candle heals you. Yes. Oh, and it heals Aerix. Nice. Why did it only... Why did... It looks like it's stopped short of... Many smaller barrels with teeny tiny barrels in them. Oh. Here's something moving inside. Nightshade. Another hero to join my happy family of ghosts. You've been collecting the souls of fallen adventurers? Thursday set me up. No, the child knows nothing of this. She knows nothing of your importance to the master. Oh, you work for Sepulcher? She doesn't even know of her own importance or her family secret. What does that even mean? Uh, bah, Sepulcher is simply a tool of the master. So are you, hero. Metal Gear Solid exclamation point. Enough of this chatter. After I destroy you, your questions about the true master will be answered. Come, hero, join us. Oh, this isn't gonna be... I don't foresee this being too difficult. See, unfortunately, the cooldown on that holy attack is rough. Like, there aren't very many battles that you fight that go 15 turns, so it's basically a one-time thing. Maybe two if things are going on a little long and you started with it, like I tend to do with boss fights. Ow, 86, Jesus. All right. You defeated the Underbed, Audrey too, and the terrifying Nightshade, and found Thursday's pendant. But what of Thursday's family secret? No, secret. <laughs> wow. Secret and the master about whom Nightshade spoke. Oh, cool. Maybe that counts as a temporary item. Oh no. Okay, that's weird that it goes under there like that shop. Okay, so. I guess you can just cash it in for that. What's this darkness? Um, belts. Oh, there's a better version for dragon amulets. That's nice. Bonus plus one, crit plus one, dark. Uh, what do I have right now? I have a last breath, dexterity, strength, magma belt. That one has a lot of value. I don't have a cape yet, so we'll go ahead and cash in on that. Thank you. We're not going to actually wear it, because, or show it, because I'm not a fan of how that looks, but, yeah. Alright. Ah, no, I want to talk to Thursday again. I'm going to heal. Alright. Crystal Clear Lake. Oh, no. A lake and crystals. It's a good thing they said Jason was already toast. Along the path leading outside of town, you will find Crystal Clear Lake. I spend a lot of time there. It's such a beautiful place. I even have a small, small flower garden there I've worked on for a long time. Do you know how hard it is to find flowers that bloom in the moonlight? <laughs> But recently, I haven't been able to get to my garden. A lot of monsters began showing up. Excuse me. The worst of them is a snarling werewolf who never seems to leave. <gasps> God, excuse me. Hiccups and junk. Do you think you could clear a path to my flower garden for me? Sure thing. Oh boy, a swamp monster. I don't imagine. 
Oh, it still hits relatively decently. And because it was a plant, I figured. This is an elaborate uh, way to get to the garden, but okay. Lagoon Goon, that's great. Um, I'm just kind of winging it with where I'm going. <laughs> Seven. Good job, Eric. All right. 